everybody wanted recommended places and cities. Phoenix, you burst in a fire burn. A thirst and desire, you transform it up here to flesh, you spread your wings to rise from the ashes. Phoenix, you burst in a fire burn. A thirst and Hey y'all, hey, how you doing? How are you? How's your day? How's your night? I hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. My name is Sasha. If you are new, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, my loyal royals. So good to see you. If you are new to the fam, welcome to the family, my new loyal royals. So good to finally meet you. Welcome back to Whatever Wednesday, y'all. And in this Whatever Wednesday, we are going to be doing recommended places and cities. I actually did a poll on my Twitter and did one on my community tab as well. And everybody wanted recommended places and cities so that's exactly what i'm going to do i did a video a while back for my favorite places that i've traveled to here in the united states and that video was actually very well received so i guess we can kind of say this is a sort of part two to that video if you would like to see the first part of this go ahead and click the link down below or you can click the card up top and it will take you right to that video some of those places on here i may actually name a second time which what i'm saying is they're from the first video but i'll also kind of try and include other places as well so let's get to it i will also include chapters in this so if you want to jump around to see what i'm saying about each city go ahead and do so so to start off this list actually going to start off with one that probably seems like it's not anything going on there but we're going to go ahead with Delaware. Yes, there are different parts of Delaware, but there is a particular um, spot in Delaware that I would recommend people go to. I know that this isn't one of those things to do videos, but this one, it kind of helps them at least know what's around that area. But there is a place I highly recommend, especially if you love museums and quiet areas and just peaceful environments. The Winterthur Museum Garden and Library. This is in Delaware. I've been here before. It is an absolutely massive site. It's beautiful. The mansion is historic and I believe it's family owned. The original owners, of course, are long gone. But I believe it's their, their children or some other part of the family that owns it. But it's a huge land mass, land mass. It's a huge land area <laughs> and it's open to the public. I, can't, I think you have to get tickets ahead of time, but it is a guided tour through the gardens outside, depending on which, um, which, which year, depending on which season you go, depends on which flowers you'll see in the garden. But the main, the main tour around the outer perimeter is actually guided. But once you get to the museum piece, it's a self tour. You can just go through at your own pace, but I highly recommend it. Winter Through Museum, Garden, and Library in Delaware. There are other things in Delaware, such as like hidden food spots and things like that. But when I say they're hidden, like you really have to like look for them and know where to look. But it's definitely worth it. Delaware is definitely worth a visit. Next up, this city is actually quite new. It's not a new new, but it hasn't been around as long as like its other counterparts. But Frisco, Texas. Frisco is a relatively new city in Texas. It's only about maybe 40% built up and it's still being built to this right now. It's still being, you know, built up, but I highly recommend it. I spent a lot of time in Frisco last year as I do have a friend that lives down there. And the first time I heard about it, all I could think was Frisco. You mean Fresno? He was like, no, it's Frisco. I said, okay. So, I went down there for a solo trip and I had so much fun. And even though it seems like there's nothing in like an open area, there's a lot to do down there. One of the top places I recommend going, if you are a video game fanatic, I highly recommend the National Video Game Museum. That, that museum is just fabulous. I actually, that was the first video that I did where I actually did it as my first time doing a vlog style video. And of course I went 
when the pandemic was kind of slowly coming to a head, coming to an end, where things were slowly trying to return back to normal. But it's definitely worth a visit. They have every single gaming system you can think of, all the way from the earliest of Atari to Nintendo, Sega, PlayStation, Xbox, blah, blah, blah. Even ones I've never even heard of. They've got PC games, they have actual playable games where you can sit and play the games themselves on the consoles and just have a good time. It does cost to get in, but the cost is not that much, but it's literally, it's worth it. And when you pay for your ticket, they give you, I think, five tokens. The five tokens are used towards the machines at the very end where you can insert the tokens and play arcade games. And it's definitely, it's definitely worth a visit. Again, if you are a major gamer or you love old school games and stuff, or you're just even a collector, it is definitely worth a visit. Frisco in itself, again, is still being built up, but it's worth just go take a look, go drive around. The, the, pretty much all the people I've met down there are so nice. There's a huge shopping center and benefit of it, it's only 30 minutes outside of Dallas. So if you live, if you don't live in Texas, you can just fly into Dallas and it's a 30 minute drive outside of Dallas. And that way, if you still need to go anywhere around like the Dallas area or Arlington area, you're still close by being around in Frisco. So Frisco, Texas. So number one so far was Delaware. Number two, got Frisco, Texas. So <laughs> number three, a lot of people may not like it, but I always have fun whenever I go. But number three for me is going to be Washington, D.C. Yes, I live in the D.C. metropolitan area, but I like Washington, D.C. as a tourist. I don't want to live there because <laughs> I can't stand the parking issues and other stuff. But D.C. is great for tourism because you've got national, the national monuments. Uh, you've got museums. The food trucks are out during the summertime. It's a great place to go and just chill out, relax, and have fun with family and friends. I like DC. And as someone who's a major museum nerd, I've been to every single museum except one in DC. And that one's on my bucket list to go to. But definitely visit DC. There's a lot of different food, types of food that are there. You know, like uh, different like Korean food, Chinese food, all kinds of European cuisine. It depends on where you look, but there's a lot of different uh, areas for different foods. And again, when the food trucks come, the food trucks have all kinds of different foods, Greek food and all the other stuff. And it's definitely worth a visit. So just be mindful of your surroundings while you're down there, but enjoy yourself. Have a good time. So Washington DC is number three. <laughs> Number four is actually from uh, my previous list, but number four for me would be Las Vegas. Um, Las Vegas has so much to it that you can do, whether it be you're doing something on the strip, which is the most popular thing of being there for, or if you go to old Vegas, which you can actually, you don't have to walk, you don't have to get a taxi. There is another way that you can get transportation to Old Vegas for cheap, and it's called the Deuce. The Deuce is the double-decker bus that goes up and down the strip. There is an app that you can use to purchase your ticket for the Deuce, and you can just ride it as much as you need to. It is very cheap. It's a lot easier than walking and being stopped by every single person that wants you to pay them to take a picture with them, as well as... It makes it so you don't have to walk through endless crowds of people. You can just sit in the air conditioning, especially because of the fact that it gets so hot in the summer and you can relax. Some other things that I recommend as far as Vegas, even though it's not technically in Las Vegas, but you have to leave from Las Vegas to get there, go to the Grand Canyon. Go to the Grand Canyon. It is literally one of the best things you will do is to see the Grand Canyon in person with your own eyeballs. Go to the Grand Canyon. I am afraid of helicopters, so I took the five hour bus ride. It was absolutely amazing to pass all the little mini townships on the way. I say townships because that is my respectful way of saying 
what I what we saw on the way there. If you know exactly what I'm talking about, then you know what we saw on the way to Arizona to the way on the way to the Grand Canyon. But I definitely recommend the Grand Canyon. It is a true gem as far as Vegas. If you'd love to shop, gamble, be bougie, Vegas is definitely a high recommendation for you to go. If you have never been, please go at least once in your life. Please, at least once. So Vegas is number four. And last but not least, number five. This one is also, this one was actually at the top of my previous list, but New York City. Highly recommend New York. There is something to do for everybody in New York. It does not matter the type of person you are, whatever your personality is. There is something for you in New York City. Just again, like DC, be mindful of your surroundings. Be vigilant, be smart when it comes to being in New York. Because if you know what I'm talking about, you know how crazy and hectic New York can get, especially when there are certain special events going on. It is crowded and then everyone is literally going left and right. And the last thing you need is something crazy to happen. So definitely be on your P's and Q's while in New York, but have fun. There are so many hidden gems throughout New York City that you wouldn't even know they were there unless you looked. And because the traffic gets so bad, honestly, if you're anywhere within the city limit, just walk, walk around. Unless you're one that you really are unable to or you just don't feel like it, walk around. There is so much to see and do by just walking through New York instead of taking a car just to try and ride. Because the time it takes you to sit in traffic you could have been walk from one block to the fifth block on. That's how long you'll sit in traffic because of how congested it gets. But as far as like things that I really like about New York, Times Square, there's so much in Times Square. I love the shops down there. Of course, you have the notorious uh, red staircase where you can go up on the top of it and take pictures and feel like you're a superstar. Um, the Empire State Building, I recommend going to the Empire State Building, going up all the way up to the top. If you're like me and you have a fear of heights, just give it a try. You don't have to go outside, but at least go up to the top just to say that you did it. You know, just have fun. There are so many different types of food in New York. There is literally every kind of cuisine you can think of. And everything pretty much lines the entire like block of Times Square going towards it. When I was there for my birthday last year, I stayed in Chinatown and it was quite amazing to see how things really go and how people, um, the markets, are, the fish markets are set up and everything is literally set up almost within like a certain time. And by the time you look again, it's busy and crowded. It's really fun to watch. But these are my recommendations. Hopefully this video wasn't too all over the place, but to start it off, got Delaware, uh, Frisco, Texas, Washington, D.C., Las Vegas, Nevada, and New York, New York. So definitely please check these places out. If you would like to make a suggestion to other places, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I am always open to traveling to different areas and seeing what's new, seeing what's good, seeing what's up. So I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you wanna check out the other one for part one, there's a link down below as well as a card up top that you can click for easy access. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and share it with your friends, family, and other travel enthusiasts. Please go follow me on Twitter at DragonPink07 and I will see you in the next video. Bye.